this was an aftershock. What you're looking at now is the shaking trees and the walls are bouncing and the paintings, the pictures are falling off the floor, off the wall and you can see on the floor here is full of junk that had fallen last night at 3 o'clock in the morning when the big one hit. <clears throat> You can get an idea of the force of this thing. And this is inside our apartment on the fourth floor. And we've had probably, I'm going to take a wild guess, 20 some aftershocks. This one that just hit now, moments ago, was one of the strongest ones. We're gonna go into the kitchen you're going to see a refrigerator that's separated from the wall last night about a foot. And luckily, everything is okay except, can you see the space there? There's a huge space between the wall and the little refrigerator and the dryer. The same thing happened to the dryer as well. It was separated from the wall. The big refrigerator, however, only separated maybe an inch or two. And luckily, the only thing, as you're looking at this kitchen, the only thing that broke was a glass jar that usually has water in it. And last night, for some reason, <laughs> it did not have water when it fell. But that's the only thing in the kitchen that we seem to have lost so far. And we go into the utility room here, where we have a little food storage and another bookcase full of junk. You can see the damage. But truthfully, there isn't a lot of things broken. Luckily, there's just a lot of mess to clean up. And as you can see, everything is disordered <laughs> in disorder we we'll go over here to the other bookcase you can see on the floor where the baby chair is the baby slipped through this by the way the baby didn't even know what was going on until we woke him up and then he started crying <laughs> but this is how how strong the earthquake was last night although like I said there was very little breakage. It just shook up and down. It wasn't the kind of earthquake that I think. We still don't have uh, internet access, we still don't have water, and we don't have electricity. So I can't really say for the rest of the, <clears throat> the country, but at least this part here where we're at, this sector where we're at, is, uh, is without those three. <clears throat> Although we do, our phone just started working maybe several hours ago. And we're talking about from 3 o'clock last night. So the phones are just not working. I still cannot dial out of the country on my cell phone. And my house phone, of course, is, uh, has been disconnected as well. Um, I put the TV on the floor, so don't get any ideas that the TV fell off the floor, off the wall, under the floor. I put it on there last night because I was watching TV when this earthquake occurred. And um, the electricity cut about two minutes before the earthquake hit which is really odd. We don't know why that happened. And when it started shaking, I realized that it wasn't just a, trim, a trimmer, um, that it was a lot more than a trimmer. I put the TV on the ground and then all of those things, while I was holding the TV and putting it on the ground, all those other things fell off. And it was really scary because it seemed like it lasted for minutes, like maybe three minutes or longer. Now we've already done some straightening out, so the bedroom is in pretty good condition now since we straightened it out, but you can see how far the bed has separated from the wall. So this thing was bouncing up and down all the walls. The windows were okay too. The windows were okay in the uh, apartment. No windows broke, as, as it does happen quite often with, other, with the other earthquake that's much more dangerous, which is the, the plate slide. This one was a bouncing type. I'm not sure there's probably a, a scientific word for it, but you can see how the bed was was uh, a little bit uh, shaken up there on the floor. 
it used to be against the wall and against <coughs> the baby's uh, crib here. You can see it separated quite well, close to the baby's crib, but you can see how it's separated anyway. All right, well, this is going to conclude our little walk because I can't show you the rest because there's no lights. <laughs> Even though this is the middle of the afternoon, I can't show any lights or anything. I can't show where the, the bathroom, a lot of things in the bathroom had fallen too. Um, and like I said, the kitchen would have been a disaster had we not taken precautions and closed all of the uh, all of the cabinets. All the glass would have broken. Uh, everything would have fallen out. Anyway, just so you get an idea, my first earthquake. I've been here seven years. I guess I was due, wasn't I? So everybody's okay. That's all that matters, right? Let's hope my speaker and my stereo still works. <laughs>